There's a need for actually coming up with models where the memory is sort of embedded into the computing platform and be able to do in-memory computing. So if we are able to have devices and if we can come up with the right kind of algorithms, maybe we can be closer to what the brain does. We are working on a ceramic quantum material which is called the samarium nickelates. We found that when we place those materials in the hydrogen environment, the hydrogen gas can be split into protons and electrons. So this hydrogen can come in and out uh, from the samarium nickelates. This right, is very similar to like a, the, the, the animals breathe the air. We call our device as uh, organismoid. We make up this word just want to show the similarity between our uh, device and the real organism because they both can breathe they can remember, they can forget it. That property is very similar to what we call habituation, and certain animals uh, do actually show that kind of behavior. So it turns out that if we can use that habituation behavior for our synaptic plasticity, what we observed is that not only you can learn new things, but you're able to actually you know, forget old and not so important information.